Okay. What are you standing at? Come on in. I, I really like it. I haven't been uh, in my native country in over 10 years and um, a lot of things have changed. So I noticed, especially in the architecture, they're taking, they're taking uh, care of a lot of uh, old buildings. Bucharest is known in Europe as the city that has uh, around 10 architectural styles in one city, which makes it very pleasant to to watch, to walk around the streets. And if you are into architecture, I highly recommend it. So we actually used to live here for a while. <laughs> Back in 2013, I think we stayed here for like half a year, maybe. And then we moved to, to Germany. But now, yeah, you're right. It's changed so much. It's getting more and more beautiful, I have to say. It, uh, it is a very vibrant city. It's uh, full of life. I, I love it so far. I really, really love it. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing more and more and explore Bucharest every day a little bit, bit by bit. A lot of vintage stores, no? Oh, yes, and uh, there are so many vintage stores in Bucharest, so that's also something I'm very excited about. I'm already... <laughs> I already have something. <laughs> we went to work and I'm like, oh, a vintage store right uh, around the corner. Let's go check it out. And uh, yeah, I got a very nice shirt. So yeah, I guess uh, a video will be coming soon with a vintage shop tours in Bucharest uh, because I'm very curious and uh, yeah maybe you come come along and explore with me But of course it's a bank, <laughs> we can't go inside, just can look outside, but it's very nice, very nice. And uh, they call Bucharest a small Paris? Little Paris. Little Paris. Uh, Petit Paris? Petit Paris. This is a National History Museum. Hmm. We should go. I want to see all the museums. <laughs> After living a year in the countryside, I just want to go to every museum possible. So just take me places <laughs> I need to go. There are no cars, you just walk here, which is super nice and so immediately quieter. And not too many people. And I like you have like all these benches, you can sit down and like just relax and enjoy the older architecture. It's cute. The weather is super nice as well. Today is 20 degrees, oh, it's so warm. It's basically spring, but I think it might still change a 
little bit, but I hope not. <laughs> so let's go see that way. That way. Oh, it's that way. Mitch, it's home is that way. So we're going that way. <laughs> I don't know anything to be honest. In Bucharest, I think, like, very underrated in terms of uh, tourism. <laughs> Not a lot of people come here for a vacation, and I think uh, that's a shame. It's a very interesting country. Not only Bucharest, but there are a lot of other cities that worth visiting, like Timisoara and Cluj. And uh, what's the one in the mountains? Brasov. Brasov, very cute little town um, where you can go skiing. Ah, yes, this is a very cute bookshop. Beautiful inside. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. the English books. I'm actually yes. I need one. I need one. This one was really good. I just uh, finished it recently. The island of missing trees. Very nice. What is it? Asimov the complete stories yes. volume two. Volume. I think we have volume one. Maybe something that can never disappoint. <laughs> Second option, another science fiction by Ursula Le Guin. Let me smell it. That's how you know if it's good. <laughs> I think definitely Asimov next time. We already read so much of him. Let's go home. Let's do a home tour. <laughs> hey, what are you standing there? Come on in. <laughs> so the building is from 1890, something like this. It's an Art Nouveau building and most of the things are still original. Like the staircase is very pretty and also the ceiling. The star of the show, Kaspe. Kaspe. Sit. Yeah. The first room I will show you is my studio. Basically, a special space where I will be working on a wonder wardrobe. Finally, I have like a lot of space, and uh, that's very important for me to have space. So let's see. I brought some furniture from Portugal, but some furniture oh, were here already. So it's like a mix. Not everything is like super <laughs> perfect, but I kind of like it. See, we have a lot of interesting details that were here already. Some decorations. I like the lamp. Here, for example, we have a very old ceramic uh, heating place it's not working anymore but everything is original it's a beautiful piece like a very unique i love it so much and then uh, i brought my orange couch <laughs> it's kind of bright but i also kind of like it i thought first that i will change the color of the um, of the couch but uh, now I'm getting used to it and it's kind of good to have kind of like a pop of color so I have my desk in here this is where I work we have a lot of natural light which is also nice and uh, we have this beautiful decorative doors this is also original decoration so 
quite uh, old uh, glass. It has a lot of scratches, a lot of history, which I love, to be honest. And then uh, we have like a um, storage area where I put my wardrobe, of course. And uh, it works like this, so I can choose what to wear. So yeah, I have like my workbooks. I brought all the stuff from Portugal. We had a lot of boxes and things that uh, we thought are important to us. Now, that's our bedroom. Everything here was actually here already, so all the furniture and all the decoration, which is nice that I didn't have to do anything. I just had to unpack our books <laughs> and uh, that's it basically, that was, that was all. So what do we have here? We have another one similar to my studio, another kind of this ceramic uh, heating station. <laughs> How do you call it again in Romanian? Sofa. It's beautiful, it's so beautiful. We have decoration on the wall, which I kind of like. I, I don't mind it, I don't mind it. I think it fits the, the, the vibe. And now the most beautiful part of this room is the ceiling. The ceiling is original. So they've managed to keep all the decoration. And I think it's very, very, pretty and I like that um, even though the building is quite old and we have a lot of original Art Nouveau decoration it also has a lot of modern things like modern furniture so it's kind of like a mix of old and new and so it doesn't look like we live in a museum <laughs> it actually livable modern apartment but with a lot of charm it's unique, it's beautiful, and uh, one of a kind. I love it, I love it so much. All right, so let's, uh, let's move on, let's move on. And now our living room space, kind of, because here is the entrance to the building. I actually love the, the details here with these glass cubes and then and the ceiling. So interesting to just Look at it. The living room was completely here, completely furnished. So we didn't do anything, basically. And I think it's fine. I think it's fine. We don't uh, spend that much time here um, because we don't really have that much time, I guess. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, Caspi loves it because there is a fluffy carpet here. So that's, uh, I guess, his space. Okay, and uh, here we have a small kitchen, which is just uh, very simple. Yeah, and the kitchen is very small. That's why I say after all this uh, Portuguese kitchen where it's like uh, 20 square meters, it's only huge kitchens. So now we have a very small kitchen, but I think it's enough. And the apartment used to be an Airbnb apartment, so it's not properly equipped yet, but it will it will be in the, in the future, in a, like a few months. But it still, it works. I can cook here, I can do things. <laughs> we have some art pieces, some uh, witchcraft recipes that I'm still yet to try, I guess. <laughs> but I think it all fits the, the atmosphere and the vibe of the apartment. We also, of course, have a bathroom, <laughs> if you want to see. Actually, the bathroom is quite nice. I, first of all, let's all appreciate the color of this glass, okay? And the pattern of the glass. And uh, yeah, you have everything here. Uh, nice uh, walk-in shower. And then again, if you look at the ceiling, you can see more of this original decoration 
and we have all these ladies looking at us, which is a little bit weird, but I guess we're already getting used to it. <laughs> we're not alone. Hopefully it's not a haunted house. Hopefully, we don't know yet. We'll see, I will keep you updated about that. And also we have two balconies, which is nice, especially Casper, he really likes it. It's uh, quite big, quite spacious. Okay, that's our street. <laughs> well, just the balcony, but it's nice to have and uh, there is a lot of light and I can uh, yeah, plant some uh, roses, I guess, here. So to decorate the building a little bit, why not? I hope you liked our little video because we were so excited to share with you our new home, our new location, our new country once again. And uh, yeah, if you have a chance, please come to Bucharest. And uh, everyone who is already here, we will have a meetup very soon. I can't wait to meet you in real life. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And yeah. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon.